KSM Show. My name is Dr. Daniel McCauley, Group Chairman of the Magdan Group. Keep watching the KSM Show. It's a good show. Yeah. <laughs> I'm very excited to know you, brother. I've already hung out with, with MPs and politicians, you know, but occasionally you run into one that's very, very exciting. That, that, that has what I call the, the charisma, the vim to handle the KSM show because they, they, they don't take life too serious, as much as they are serious. And by guest today, folks, he's going to dazzle you. Put your hands together, show some love for Mr. Amako <laughs> And you're a sanitizer. Show some love for that man. <laughs> okay, welcome to the show. Well, I think you are too far. I can take my. Uh, oh, you too yeah, far. yeah, yeah. I think we, at this sense it's fine. So, this is and, and the people at home, you don't have to worry. Yeah, no, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad you're here. It's been a while. I've always wanted yeah, to have you here. I know. It's been. I, I mean, I. I've been looking forward to this. I mean, well, welcome once again. I'm very excited to be here. Fantastic. Yes, it's going yes. to be a very exciting show. Very, very. And also, for the first time, we have a live band in the house. And the live band, guess their name. No, 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 I don't think you. No, no. They are called the Choco Jazz Band. Show some love for the Choco Jazz Band. Choco Jazz Band. And, um, Honorable, welcome again. I'm very excited to be here. I'm so I excited mean, to see you, man. I mean, to be with you in person. I yeah. Mean, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm very excited. <laughs> yes. Well, and Choco Band. Choco Band is here. And do you know why I have Choco Band here? No, I don't. Because I, was, I, I was going to ask you. I mean, yes. You, know, you have some musicians around. Eh? No, no, no. I don't have musicians around. You are the musician. Let me, <laughs> let me tell you why. You know, the guy who I've been talking to, you know, and he told me that, Kesem, if we're going to get this man, let him sing. I said, does he sing? He said, Quer, you don't know. <laughs> he, told me that. he told me that. He actually organized the Choco Band to be here. So I said, can he sing? Will he sing? So then he said, yes. You know, then I said, well, then he asked me, do you have a three-piece band or any band? I said, no, we don't have a band right now. I said, if you can get one together for me, then fine. Really? So, yes, by the way, he put all of so this So I'm going to sing. So you're going to sing. <laughs> <laughs> so, folks, uh, we have a team that can do two songs for us. You know. Before we start, before we even get into this interview, I want you to see his single skill, singing skills. And then uh, after that, before we end, he'll give us another song. So in the meantime, Kofi, Choco Band is waiting for you. They're waiting for me. Uh, so well, I'm going to give you a song by Safu Hini Jenny. Safu. It's called Niai Bue. Na, which means? Sheniye. Sheniye. No one who niye. OK. <laughs> it's one Sheniye and one who niye. It's Sheniye. So, so I'm going to try that. OK. Boy, and 
Sign up, we have to go on a world tour. <laughs> fantastic, fantastic. I, I also try to see if I can send them on to be the KSM show group, man. Joko, <laughs> but you take them on the tour, so I, I think so. I yeah, think so. Well, I welcome so. again. Fantastic music, man. Were you a musician growing up? Did you want to go into music you know, or anything? Uh, you know, when you grow up in the village and you can just get your empty uh, milk cans and uh, you know, uh, Gesha cans and yeah. everything that you can think of. So you were... You know, we put it together and then we do the singing. I, I know that we did... I'm sure you did that. I, I was never a singer. Well, that's about... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm I did never that. Never a singer. Oh, but, but, but you're good. You have a good I, voice, man. Well, I think so. I think it's not bad. I, 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 I wasn't sure when I was coming out right, but I'm sure it's not bad. Oh, it I don't fantastic. remember the last time Just I sang. Around, man. I, don't I don't remember the last time. I told the coaches and watches, hey Charlie. Charlie. That's our MP man. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I love them. And, uh, I love them back. Wow. Yeah. But, but you, this is your third time you're going? That, well, so I'm in my third term. You're in your third term. So okay. if I, if I uh, win the next election, I'll be on my fourth. Oh, the winner will be the fourth one. Yes. Wow. But let, let, let's go just a little bit yes, back into yes, for, yes, you know, because yes. um, uh, the, 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 the MP there, Freddie Blay. Yes. He's, he's, he's quite a, a very, formidable, formidable. Very important man, very yeah. respected man. He's been in the game for a long time. For long yes. Time. He's now the chairman of the MPP. He, yeah, he's the chairman of the MPP now. Amazing, amazing. So, where did you come from all of a sudden? <laughs> nowhere, <to come laughs> nowhere. From nowhere, come to a, a city. Nowhere, I mean, you know. You were in the United States? Yes, yes, I was. But on a yearly basis, I would be coming home. Uh, you know, I grew bread in uh, Zima, so I'll be doing a lot of uh, social courses. Mm -hmm. I was actually the uh, president of the Enzima Association of USA in Canada. You were the president? Yeah, 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 I was. <laughs> you know, we organized... The, the, the Enzima blood is live in you. Yeah, I mean, you know, you know, and so we're doing a lot of good stuff. Okay. You know, I came one time and uh, young people thought that, hey, you should come and uh, run for MP. I thought wait a minute, was, wait a minute. So you came on a, sort of like a visit? I came on a visit. And the young... Folks and, said, you, know, you know, we had formed all these youth groups and, and supporting them with school stuff, books, computers. Oh, okay. And you while know, you were there, while I was there, and I'm, I'm, I was always home. I was always okay. coming home, okay. you know, you know, doing the good stuff. Mm -hmm. And uh, I mean, initially I didn't take it serious, but I actually it became more serious when some of the stakeholders uh, began. To basically ask me to do that. Who is a stakeholder? A lot of them. I mean, uh, a lot of very important people uh, in uh, Lembele. Uh, so they, they'll put the pressure on you to run? Well, did you always have some interest in running or not in politics? That drew your attention not to? Not in politics, but obviously it became very clear that, uh, you know, I mean, I was passionate about a few things. If it's okay. about education, if about uh, uh, making sure that we transform our communities, one village, at the time and all of that, I thought we could do that. And crazy, I had to, I had to basically uh, leave. The, and it was not uh, an easy decision, actually. Mm. It was not an easy decision yeah. because you know. So yeah, of course. I was, I was, um, 
I finished a uh, graduate program. I, I was one of the luckiest people, can you imagine? I got a chance to be selected out of 10,000 applicants after graduate school. Uh, the United States Postal Service wanted to train 30 people across the 50 states. And they had a succession plan, and the Bobby Binners, they were retiring, and so. And guess what? I was among the 30 selected out of 10,000. Wow. So, so, you saw the ad and you applied? Well, I saw the ad, and I applied. And I really never believed that you I could would make it. No, that was, it was impossible. I mean, I said, well, let me try. So you're just trying it? I was just trying it. Then, try my quick. You know, you had to go through some assessments online. Yeah, yeah. I did that, I read a story and all of that, you know, my very interesting story. And I, I wrote exactly who I was. Uh, the guy who is from uh, a so village in, in Ghana, in Elembele, whose father died when he was... Guess what? My father was the postmaster. Oh, your father was the postmaster? <laughs> he died before I even turned seven years. <laughs> I'm sure I was in there. And somehow I was, uh, I was brought in and we went to do assessments and group interviews and it took a six months of intense processes at the end of the process you i was selected i was selected and it was a huge i traveled across the 50 states in the two-year training program wow i was advanced management so the training, training. program was for two years it was two years a, within a one year one year of advanced management training mm. in the post academy and then the other year was basically practical traveling i was in almost every uh poster plant uh, mm. poster station mm. Mm. acting and you know being tested and all of that so you went through all of that i went through it and after and two years everything. i graduated and okay. you know it's a big deal i wow. became a level 21 postmaster you know the postmaster general in america is level 25 and you were 21 21 it means that i was a senior level postmaster wow Speaking good, you know what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, so they the posted you to. Oh my God, my first station, Clinton Post Office. Where? Where was that? This was. Uh, I, I went to a station in Rhode Island. That was my station. Okay. And actually, you want to know? It's very funny. This was the first ever black postmaster ever posted to that station. Really. And I was not only black. I was an African with a big accent. <laughs> <laughs> You're yeah, not just a when, black brother. When I went to the reception, I, I said that I wanted to see who was in charge. And the lady asked me, oh, I need a job. I need an application. Oh, the lady at the reception, reception at the wanted to find out whether you were, you had come to apply for a job. Yes. I said, uh, no. He went, came back and said, uh, you know, that was the customer service manager. We had three managers and I was in charge. So I said, no, tell him that uh, uh, the, the man who's supposed to be in charge of this station is here. He said, who is, you are in charge? I should tell him. I said, yeah, tell him. Tell him. Then I finally said, tell him that the postmaster is here. The postmaster is here. The three of the supervisors came. Are you Mr. Barr? <laughs> <laughs> I said, yeah, yeah. They already had a lot of the things, you know, so I walk in. And when I walk in, you know, I'm talking about 200 employees in a huge place. And I'm like, what? Is that a new postmaster? Oh a my black God. man. Not just a black man, too. African. My first, my first encounter, engagement of, with the employees. I, I started speaking, and then somebody shouted from behind, oh my God, I can't hear a thing. <laughs> I was like, Come, come up, come up. I can see you. I, mean, I couldn't see the person. I said, come up. So the person came closer? Came. I mm. said, come up, come up, mm. come up. Can you talk to me? He said, well, I was at the back. I couldn't hear you. I said, look, I was, see your accent. You have a big accent. <laughs> but you know what? Out of respect, I managed to listen to everything you say, even though you have a big accent. You got to get used to me. I'm going to be here for a long time. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, this is America, you know, it's beautiful. Yes, yes. And uh, the rest was history. I mm. mean, so you were postmaster for how long? I was a postmaster for about four years. Okay. I mean, uh, and I became a relief postmaster moving. 
I was brought back to Washington, D.C. I went to Maryland. Mm, mm. Uh, uh, and then, and then ahead. in, you know, 2008 is when I'm making this decision. So I came to Ghana. And this thing comes in. I mean, I couldn't tell anybody. Anybody that I told that I want to leave this lifetime job to Ghana. And, and come and do politics in Ghana. I thought I was either sick or something's wrong with me. Yeah. I mean, but I, I, I felt so strongly that I should do it. And I actually came to Ghana June 2008. Straight to Elembele. And started the primary. Well, when I went, it was a dandy because I had so much support from the youth. So we wow. had two candidates and I won the, uh, the primary. All the candidates dropped. And so the campaign was on. I mean, this was, I had our four, five but months. Going, facing uh, Freddie Blair at the time, what were, your, what were your fears? I mean, you are just coming. I mean, nobody You're... gave me a, a dog chance. I, I can't imagine. I mean, nobody. Look, I'll tell you a story. So, I mean, two, two months to the election, finally, the candidate, the presidential candidate of the NDC, finally is going around and coming to Elembele. Who was the president? That, that's Mills, under Mills? President Mills. Okay. And I couldn't sleep. I mean, this is it. I'm finally going to meet the NDC presidential candidate. I'm the candidate. And finally, and they told us that the candidate will be there around 10 a.m. Mm. You know, later we heard that he will be there at 1. Mm -hmm. By 6 o'clock, the candidate was not there. 6 30. And from 10 a.m., you were waiting? And my youth, my crowd, and the campaign was on. The candidate get there, and I remember very well the, the convoy. <laughs> Here is the cuckoo uh, in the hose. We're like, please clear. We, clear we, we, are not stop. we are not stopping. It's too late. It's too late. I was like, no way. No way. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. So the people have been there, what, since 10 a.m.? We, we've been waiting, chanting, Samambo. <laughs> you are, you, you guys are hungry. <laughs> and they say, oh, oh, he's not stopping. The candidate is too late. The candidate will not stop. Wow. Guess what? What? So something got over me. I went to the crowd. Toby! Block the road. <laughs> Block the road. Block the road. And indeed, they blocked the road. Guess what? Then candidate Atamez was sitting in his car. He sees a guy in a, a yellow shirt chanting, Block the road. He says, Call me that young man over there. <laughs> so they came and called me that the president is looking for you. I was so scared. I thought my whole life was coming to an end. I walk in there and said, Young man. Are you the youth organizer? <laughs> I said, no. I saw you. You were telling them to block the road. <laughs> See, I said, I did. These young people, they've been standing here all morning mm. waiting for you. Mm. I mean, mm. you have to stop. He said, I am tired. <laughs> we started at 5 a.m. We are tired. <laughs> you know, my health should be important to you. I said, yes, sir. Say hello to them, please, sir. That's all you want. You say hello. He, he, he said, okay. And he got out of the car. Me and I know me showing you. What's your name? I said, Kofi Bua. I want to have a mom. I want to want to make young money. So he got his endorsement. He got his endorsement. And then he finally left. Oh, wow. Guess what? My name was the first when the result came. I had defeated the powerful... The giant, Freddie Blay. Yes. I mean, it was so unbelievable. The old guy I was getting... <laughs> wow. Good. Guess where I got a call from? I got a call from the office of President Atamels. Young man, congratulations. They told me you would not win. <laughs> <laughs> When you come to Accra, come and see me. I was amazed. Wow. He I called was, you? Yes. I was amazed. I mean, I mean, <laughs> I guess that was so big a news. And I'm sure that was my license to be a deputy minister. Wow. <laughs> In wow. Ghana. Yeah. 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 Put your hands together. For, uh, <laughs> that's a great story. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And, and, and you've been in since, and this, is, this oh, might yeah. be the fourth time? That's correct. What that's correct, you know? Yeah. In your, in your own assessment, what are your chances? Oh, well, 
It's Who's the candidate you're going with against? Well, no, the, the candidate is the MPP uh, candidate. He's challenged me two times already and okay. lost. Okay. He's currently the DC, so okay. he's been the ground, you know. You know, so I've been watching all his movements, uh -huh. uh, you know, but I don't take anything for granted, you okay. know. Keep working sure. mm. hard, making sure that you keep faith with the people. Mm. I, I think that's very fundamental. Mm. Keep faith with the people. Mm. And that's what I try to do, making sure that when I say I will do this, I do it. Mm. Mm. And that's what I try to do. Mm. And so I, I believe that uh, uh, I will win the election, God willing. <laughs> Uh, uh, what's his name? That he's the he's the DC now. Yeah, DC, uh, DC. Uh, he's called Bonzo. He has a he has a nickname. You know, I'm called Action Man, Action yeah. Man, Action over man. there in Elembele. And he's called 34 Kwa. I don't know what I. Hey, hey, hey. So 34 Kwa. If you want to challenge him, please feel free to give me a call. I also bring you here. <laughs> That's wow. Right. That's right. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Wow. It's been amazing. great. It's been amazing. great. Amazing. Um, and, and interesting enough, you know, um, what struck me, why I want to talk to you, apart from, of course, you're an MP now, you've done some politics, so yes. politics will definitely be a part of the agenda. But what really struck me was when I read about some of the amazing things you were doing in the community, Yeah. you know, and um, when I was chatting with you, what struck me was that you... Well, at least from, that's what I got from you. You were not in this as a political gimmick, but as something that you say you love because you have a great commitment to your society. So there are two things we'll talk about. Um, yes, Aya yes. is a community. Yeah, the, the elderly care center. Elderly care center. And, um, uh, and then your food bank that yeah, you have started. Food bank. Yeah, yes, wonderful, wonderful. But, but that's very important. I, I have said that there's a lot of good people in politics. Very good people. What is really happening and what worries me is that our politics in Ghana must change mm. because I think that we, we are probably going to the uh, head on. I mean, the politics does not allow uh, people with good intentions to basically come in. And so, Why? You know, we are so divided. And we, 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 I think that uh, we have always, even with good intentions, we have always been questioning people's good intent. Mm, mm. Once you are in the political arena, mm. and, and sometimes it's very discouraging. But I believe that it has Is to be. Is it because, uh, sorry to cut you off, it's yes. because the good intentions, no matter how well meaning, are interpreted as a. Political? Yeah, uh, I, I, often, often, thing? often, often. So, really? Often, it is, you know, often it is considered that way. How do you make sure that ultimately the people will come to believe that this was meant for good? Okay. It's a very, very good point you have raised here. Let's take a commercial break. Yes. When we come back, let's get more into this. Thank you. Stick around, folks. We're taking a short commercial break. When we come back, we have Honorable Kofi Boa in the house. We'll be right back. ASM show. To say ye be a ba e gaso, so we better talk our ha na ye ko top battery from and crown crop be bre near the babies be a battery and a fine ye. It ye had been say was it me locate battery papa. Na ye ton emma ye ye customers, na fe ye magana for zu timi nya battery papa yusu. In ya mia ya dom am ye timi locate speed made batteries are omu from Korea. Omni one of the best battery company in the world. Na se se ye dia bagwa so enti wo wo pe battery ato si u ka so wo di si u generator so ana se tro tro ana se u ba fo ye amuhia battery wo wo pe so ye ho se kra an bra ye tu e ma ona so akoko ton no nya so fa so obi biara mra erata motors e gbe tu ye su gbe tu more than a fe enti bo modia ne bra ne bra be top battery papa i speed mate ne mu wo enti se de ye dia se papa e na ba amagana fo 